Playing this game called Cinnamon Cargo S4 Versus, Hacker Slash Game of Anime Girls, Anime Girl Ninjas as well. Pretty good. Yeah, that sounds pretty lit, man. You might. Oh. D, what is that? <clears throat> Cinnamon Cargo S4. D, what the fuck is that? Cinnamon Cargo S4 Versus, and you just came over. Oh, what time. the fuck did I tell you about taking game recommendations from Lost Paws, dude? What the fuck? Leave me alone, man. They're of age. Leave me alone. It's of age, of age where? In the UK. Oh. Ivan, Ivan, wait. Luke! Get the weed belt! Not the weed belt! Luke! Ivan! It's back! It's back! I can slash shit, nigga! Yo, I don't know what it is, but I kind of feel like my ancestors are cheering me on right now. Okay, I think you should give me the belt. Why? You, you're kind of enjoying this a little too much. It's weird. Just give me the belt. Enjoying the... Ivan, I'm not Luke, enjoying this Luke, too give me the belt. Ivan, give me the belt! Here. We're hitting him because he's a pedo, not because he's black. Jesus. See? What did I tell you? Hack and slash. Shit. <laughs> Is that a child? Yeah, you're the same. The same game. The fuck? Yeah, I swear to God. This belt may be a Louis, but I'm gonna make you scream like a Louise! Come on! Come on! Now, Senran Kagura is a series that is usually only talked about in passing, as a series that markets towards the dirty weaves that look at anime titties all day. And that, my friends, is exactly what it is. Thanks for watching, guys! Nah, I'm just joking. Now, to be truthful, their target audience may be that to an extent. I mean, who doesn't love big anime titties being forced into their face at any given moment? I mean, some people care about anime titties so much, they'll complain on Twitter about someone wearing a sports bra that restricts said titties. <laughs> By the way, Tifa looks beautiful no matter what. Go outside, you fucking virgins. But would you believe me if I told you that Senna and Kaga was a fan service game with actual substance? <gasps> Yes, indeed, I just said that. Forget your dead or alive. Forget your gal gun. Forget your Akana heart. Forget your skull girls. When it comes to plot inside of plot, Senna and Kagura knows how to deliver on all fronts. And how you ask? Again with the question, stop block clock commenting before you finish that video, you clap dunny. Senna and Kagura is a series developed by Tamsoft and published by Marvelous Entertainment to bring us the marvelous titties. <laughs> oh, that was terrible. No, I'm, I'm, I'm taking out the script. It was first released on the 3DS around 2011, but then moved to the PlayStation. The timelines for the Nintendo 3DS versions of the first two games, Burst and Deep Crimson, are a bit different to the later games, Burst Renewal, Shinobi vs, Estival vs, and Peach Beach Splash. So I'll be mostly talking about the versus timeline. And yes, PBS is actually canon. I don't fucking know. The main premise of this story is that all these girls from these ninja schools are trying to achieve the rank of Kagura, which is basically the divine rank that is tasked to defeat demons called Yoma. The world is set in is based around three academies. We have the first school we're introduced to in the series, Hanzo National Academy. In this school, we have our poster girl and basically main heroine, Asuka, the granddaughter of the founder of the academy, Hanzo. Then we have Yagyu, Hibari, Hikaruga, and Katsuragi. Next, we have the pseudo villains of this series Hebijo Clandestine Girls Academy, which used to be classed as the rival school of Hanzo Academy, consisting of Ryobi, Riona, Murasaki, Imu, and the leader, Miyabi. We then have our elite school, Gesen Girls Academy, that is introduced in the second game of the Versus series. In this school, we follow the elite class consisting of Shiki, Minori, Yozakura, Molokumo, and the leader of the group. Worst girl, Yumi, who pushed Homura off of being the poster girl alongside Asuka because apparently Japan has no taste at all! <laughs> Moving on. And finally, we have the former Hebijo students turned renegade for killing the school's top investor, Dogen, the Crimson Squad. The runaways include Yomi, Hikage, Mirai, Haruka, and the leader and best girl, Homura! Yes, this is best girl. I don't make the rules. Oh, wait, yes, I do. It's my fucking. Now, as you can see, the cast of characters are all diverse and stand out by themselves thanks to the artwork of Yagashi Nan. The amount of waifus to choose from is immense. The game is basically full of best girls. Wait, wait, except you, Yumi. Puh, prick, fuck you. Suck your mom. <laughs>
Even though these characters look like evil booby monsters in the eyes of some, each character has their own motivation and vibrant personality that makes each and every one of them endearing. Characters in this game aren't just shallow one-dimensional tropes, don't let their appearances deceive you. Since they're shinobis, death is still a primary theme when it comes to each backstory, some darker than others. For example, Mibi lost her mother due to her own idiocy and used a forbidden art that caused her to go into a rampage and killing enemies and allies alike. Katsuragi's parents failed a mission and had to forfeit their lives because of it, but instead of facing their punishment, they became renegade ninjas and ran away, abandoning Katsuragi in the process. These girls have been through some shit, let me tell you that. And that's just only scraping the surface just so I can make the 10 minute mark in this video. Seriously, I keep getting it monetized. I need the money. Help me donate to the Patreon, please. Moving on from the cast, let's talk about gameplay. It's a simple hack and slash that focuses on fighting waves of grunts and then fighting the boss of said stage. This is where things get bare bold. The gameplay is a spectacle when it comes to the flashy jutsus, but everything else is lacking substance. Especially since the best jutsus are unlocked later on in the game like Homura's Crimson Mode. But I think we all know where the budget of the game went to. Yeah, this isn't a game you can play with your parents around. Peach Beach Splash is something different, but it acts as a boring third person shooter full of bullshit power ups. I can only play it for an hour till I get bored, but since the game is kinda I guess I have to push through it now, won't I? There's a lot of negative stigma when it comes to these sort of games, even amongst other anime fans. I mean, no one really wants to be associated with the mouth breathing smelly weeb that is asking your favourite cosplayer for feed pics. This video is to say that it's okay to like Senna and Kagura. The series is actually quite wholesome when it comes to how much they cherish each other and their friendship together. Each character has a set of goals that bring them together and their own trials and tribulations. Honestly for me, the titties and the characters behind them is what keeps me interested in the series. On top of them setting up for an interesting path story wise in the next game, I honestly can't wait. So when your mom beats you for your weird titty games, just know that you have an ally. Senran Kagura is a good series and I stand by that statement. Just, just don't be fucking weird, okay? Please, just don't be fucking weird. See guys, I told you, Senran Kagura is just not about the anime titties, it's about the engaging gameplay and the deep personalities of the characters. No, that's nice, nice by the way. Yeah, I, I guess you were right. Uh, sorry we uh, aimed for your balls. No problem. Will I populate you soon enough anyway? I kind of hate to admit it, but... I think I kind of like this game. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I told you, nigga. Do you mind if I get next round? Yeah, sure thing. I'm playing maybe right now, but feel free to select any character you want. Oh, wow, Ooh, that's that's a, that's extra. That is extra. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Playing certain conqueror for a bunch of niggas is not the best idea, to be honest. I see that now. With oh shit. I don't know about you guys, but I'm feeling kinda horny! Yaga! <laughs>